Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about Devontae Parker's performance against the Indianapolis Colts and why what he was able to do in that Colts game uh, is, is a good sign for what's to come or what the Dolphins should do um, in regards to the offense and how they utilize Parker in the future. We're going to be diving a little bit of a film study in terms of Parker's game against the Colts. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So with that said, um, you know, the Dolphins had a really rough game against the Colts last week. It was really hard to watch. It, it was actually, it was actually, it was actually really hard to watch as a Dolphins fan. Um, however, Devontae Parker was one of those bright spots on the offense, and there weren't a lot of bright spots on the offense, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was a really tough game. Jacoby Brissett really struggled. But the one thing that really worked with this offense was the ability to target Devontae Parker, especially in the second half. The first half, Devontae Parker really wasn't involved in the offense at all. But the offense got better when Parker was targeted. And the reason for that is, you know, he is the Dolphins' best receiver. Um, but now let's dive into the film session and really explain what his skill sets are and what talents he has that the Dolphins should really look to optimize and utilize uh, moving forward after a pretty good game against the Colts where he had four catches for 77 yards and a touchdown. So let's dive into the film session right here, right now. Number one, Devontae Parker, he's lined up at the bottom of your screen one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He's not a possession catch receiver. He's more of a jump ball, 50-50 wide receiver. And at the same time, you can utilize him on these short third and two situations, these tight window throws that you need to make because he's going to come up with the football. He's got really good hands. He can catch the football really well. Um, and he uses his body really, really effectively. He's also a pretty good route runner. He's got good size and speed. So he's kind of a complete package when it comes to this. However, you got to notice it's third and two, right? Um, and you need, you, you need to pick up a first down here. The Dolphins, they're down 14. They need to pick up a big first down here. And what I love from Devontae Parker here is look at his route running. For starters, look how he creates separation here, really getting this corner to bite that he's going along. But then Parker's really able to stop his momentum, come back to the football here on this little curl route. But more importantly, I love how he comes back to this football. Doesn't wait for the football to get to him, but simply comes back to it, uses his body here to create separation with the defender, using that body to protect the football so that the defender can't get to the football, and then simply is able to outrun the defender a little bit to pick up maybe half or half a yard, maybe a yard extra um, after the catch. So really good play here by Devontae Parker, and this is how the Dolphins should utilize him. They should utilize him on these short, uh, short throws, really use his body to create separation and to protect the football and to pick up important yards. So I really like, uh, you know, Devontae Parker in this situation. They really got to utilize him a lot more in these types of short, tight window throws, um, especially towards the outside of the field where he can utilize that big body and big frame to really take that football in and then use that separation and that body to protect the football um, and maybe even pick up yards after the catch. But this is a little bit more of the Devontae Parker that we know and love. You see him here, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside at the top of your screen. It's a little bit hard because it's in the sun. But nonetheless, he's going to try and go on, on, on a go route here, just trying to beat out the corner uh, to the sideline. And that's the thing. Devontae Parker has that speed, and he's got that size to beat guys over the top. Uh, he's got the speed um, to outrun corners. It's really that simple. And that makes him a vertical threat, a deep threat. So you see how one, he's got that, that speed to get to the outside, but more importantly, this is what I love from Devontae Parker. Jacoby Brissett one-on-one, he trusts Devontae Parker in the situation. He sees that it's one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside and knows that Devontae Parker can go up and catch a football. That's what he's known for. That's probably his best attribute. His best attribute is to go up and catch 50-50 balls. However, right here, I love what Parker's able to do. Once again, he not only turns around and tries to use that body once again uh, to protect the football using that back shoulder and that back of his body, almost his butt too, to create a little separation, ward off the ball coming in up here. And this allows him to simply use his body to go out and get that football. By using that body, using that big frame, using that large size, uh, he was really able to ward off this defender, creating a wall between him and the football, allowing him to go up and get that football, allowing him to secure it. And plus, I mean, he he's strong too. I mean, this is pass interference. You see one and two flags flying, three flags flying here. This is clear pass interference, right? Three refs from three different angles can clearly see this is pass interference. Parker's got that strength and that core um, to maintain, uh, you know, his his concentration um, and maintain that impact, right? And continue keeping his body on that defender, really pushing that defender out of the way, um, almost like a box out drill um, in basketball, really making sure that he gets the space and he is allowing for that separation because of his use of his body. So he's got the strength, he's got the, the speed to get to the outside, but more importantly, he's got the size and the physicality to come down with this football um, and make a really nice play on it. And although, you know, it still would have been the same yardage if he hadn't caught it because, you know, it's pass interference, um, this just shows that strength that he has, 
something that the Dolphins really need to use. They really need to utilize him going deep downfield. And that's something that they did a little bit more in this game towards the end of the game that really was successful. And I think this is a great example. Here you're going to see Devontae Parker one-on-one -on, -one on the bottom of, of your screen matched up here. And to be honest, he's just running, he's running a go route. That's what he's doing. Um, I, I don't really care about too much of the, of, of the route at first. Um, but, you know, Jacoby Brissett, he's going to feel the pressure. But this is the number one thing I love. One, I don't love this throw by Jacoby Brissett. It, to be honest, outside the pocket, throwing on the run, not a great throw. But this is what I love here. Number one, this is Devontae Parker. You see how he's, you know, after the play's broken down, he's found some space for himself. I think the actually the, the, the original route was towards the inside of the field, but he hops back out to the outside of the field um, to create that separation to try and to try and you know get some space open for himself um, for Jacoby Brissett to throw to. And this is what I absolutely love. Not only is he tracking the ball all the way, but even before that the ball is anywhere near him, he's creating that leverage and he's creating that position on that defender. Not only does he have the defender on his outside hip, but that means that all this space over here where Jacoby Brissett is throwing into is Devontae Parker's, right? The defender would have to go through Parker to get to that spot on the field. And Parker's once again use, utilizing that body to go up and get it. But more important, look, look how he wards off the defender once again. And I keep on bringing back this. He utilizes his body and he utilizes his core and his strength really, really well uh, to help ward off defenders and create separation and space for himself. But this is what I love the most out of Devontae Parker. He jumps higher than anyone else for a football. Not only is he tall, I think that he's about 6'4". Uh, maybe, maybe he's a little shorter than that. But he's really tall. But he can also go up and grab it. Look at how he just simply high points it. Vertical jumps, all of that, comes down with it and brings it in for the first down. So that's a really good play by Parker here. And lastly, we're going to see how Parker uh, does things after the catch and how he's able to create uh, even small amounts of separation um, in tight window throws and come down with really, really big catches um, in tight windows and, and, and in tight coverage. Here you're going to see him one-on-one -on, -one, uh, on the outside. He's going to run pretty much a deep slant. Remember, this is fourth and two. Really big play for the Dolphins trying to get back in this game. Obviously, they didn't end up winning this game. Didn't really end up getting anywhere near to winning this game. Um, really tough loss for them. But, you know, in this situation, Parker does a really good job here. At first, you know, he looks honestly like he's open. Like, he he's open right here. This is a touchdown right there. I mean, that's a touchdown. However, this Colts defensive line did a really good job, and this offensive line was horrendous and really protecting Jacoby Brissett. So Brissett can't really go anywhere with the football. But look at how Parker continues his route, sees all the space in the back of the end zone, and simply just fades into that space. You see how he's calling for the ball here. He's like, hey, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. He's got his hand in the air. He's just creating space for himself and being a big target for his uh, quarterback to throw to. Jacoby Brissett fires that ball in there. This is a tight window throw. I mean, at the end of the day, it is. There's one, two defenders in close proximity, and there's a third and a fourth defender in the, in, in the vicinity. This is a tight window throw. It's tight coverage. This is not an easy throw. Parker, once again, goes up, high points that ball, is able to get two feet in bounds. Great great job uh, with the footwork here and then still you know still able to maintain catch through the ground once again throwing that strength and that con showing that showing off that strength and concentration as he's forced to the ground but more importantly this is just a really good play from him he's got it he's he's smart you know I, th I think that he's been in the league for five six seven years uh i think this actually might be a six season uh maybe it's actually seven i don't know it's either six or seven years um but look at how he just fades into that space creates an option for his quarterback to throw to and is able to come down with the football in a tight window uh, over a defender, just gets the feet down. This is this is really, really good stuff from Devontae Parker. So I'm not going to lie. The Dolphins' offense really, really struggled in the game against the Colts. They did. Um, it, it's really that simple. They, they, they were bad. They were really bad. However, the highlights were when they threw to Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker throwing the ball deep, and especially to a big frame like Devontae Parker, it opens things up. It really opens things up. And as soon as they started throwing to Parker, the offense became a lot better. They moved the ball better. Uh, they were able to push the ball downfield, create scoring chances, and really open up this offense. And that's what they need to do next week. They need to continue targeting Parker downfield. And don't get me wrong, I like Devontae Parker over the slant route, and I like him in the short yardage situation too. He's pretty good with the football. He creates space for himself, utilizes his body. But those skill sets, his size, his hands, the ability to use his body to secure footballs, all of that stuff allows him to go deep. And that's why I want the, that's what I want the Dolphins to do with him. I want them to target him deep. I want them to throw up 50-50 balls to Devontae Parker. Because 75-80% of the time, he's coming down with that. That's his specialty. That's his elite ability. And that's something that once Tua comes back, they're absolutely going to have to do it. They're absolutely going to have to throw the ball deep to, to Devontae Parker. Jacoby Brissett next week is going to have to throw the ball deep to Devontae, to, to, to Devontae Parker. It's a must. It's a must do. It's really a must do if they want any chance of having any offensive success. Devontae Parker is such an elite weapon at times. He really can be. He can be in a thousand yard receiver and he's done that before it's just how many times can you feed him you've got to feed him you've got to feed the beast in Devontae Parker you've got to throw him 
him looks. And, and you know, the offensive coordinators in, in, in Godsey and, and Studsfeld saw Devontae Parker in, in, in the game against Colts, and they saw what he was able to do. They need to keep recreating that. 19.2 average yards per, per reception, that's where you've got to be if you're Devontae Parker. You've got to be the, that deep guy. You've got to be that guy who can come down with the football and make the big plays um, if this if this Dolphins offense really wants any success. At the end of the day, really big game here from Devontae Parker against the Colts. Not a ton of catches, but his impact really carried this Dolphins offense. I mean, without him, this Dolphins offense had nothing going for it. Uh, but really nice game from Parker, and they're really going to need to continue targeting him deep downfield using that big body, that frame, and that ability to go up and get the football to help move the chains and help push this Dolphins offense forward. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.